So as we know uh, that uh, while the z bounder brush is a welcome addition for polygon level editing of models, there are some things that it can't do. So that means like there are some limitations here. So let's see what are those limitations. So let's understand how best it is uh, to use it by seeing some ways that it shouldn't be used. So I have this model which you can find the link uh, for your, you can find the link in the description below and you can uh, download from there it's just like a simple model here so most 3d modeling software allows you to have n-gons or polygons with more than four sides however in zbrush this is never allowed and that's also true for the z border brush too so uh if you're used to modeling something like my in maya or blender or 3d super max you know that even though Five and six sided polygons are not ideal because your topology will be not good. Um, you know, when you apply the smooth modifier on it, you will not get a good result. So you can at least create them for temporarily like basis or, you know, your new way to build something else. So however, in ZBrush, this is completely not allowed. So unfortunately, it does limit some of the ways that we can work. So let's see uh, here. Uh, I, uh, let me zoom in. Uh, I have my wireframe on. And uh, in other 3D tools, uh, there is a, there are maybe some tools called cut tools or knife tool if you want to divide uh, some of these edges. Okay. And uh, or, you know, auto slice tool on those or those kind of tools, connect tools. Uh, which allows you to start cutting a new edge through existing polygons. Unfortunately, that cannot be done in ZBrush because it would at least at some point can create a five-sided polygon somewhere, even temporarily. So that's why it's not here because ZBrush, ZModeler brush is really, really restrict you to have only four sides. And something else that you can't do in ZBrush is use Z modeler brush on a model that has subdivision levels. Okay, so uh, what you need to do is that you have to delete your subdivision. Okay, because here you can see in my geometry, if I will go, I don't have any sort of a subdivision over here. But if I will add a subdivision, I won't be able to work on. For example, if I will click here, okay, and if I want to do something here, you can see it says the mesh is composed of multiple subdivision level delete or freeze them uh, you know and then you can work on so i have to freeze and then i have to work on that okay so these are some of the limitations but you can work around them like suppose i have this model here uh i have turned on the interface also so you can see it clearly so I will go to the edge of this model, okay. And what I will do here is that uh, let me go to correct edge here, okay. And then I will go to extrude, okay. There is extrude here and edge loop. So if I want to extrude this edge loop here, let me do one thing. Uh, go to the polyface here and click on to do nothing. Otherwise, by mistake, if I click on the polygroup like sorry though the, the polyface it will uh you know might affect that and especially uh, also the points i can do and click on the point and do nothing so now it will only work on the uh edge faces so i will turn off my uh symmetry mode also and if i will go to each uh, any one of this edge and try to export it you can see that it is creating this sort of thing now uh one more way i can do over here is that i can press the space bar here and use this mesh border instead of edge poly loop and this will help me to create something like this okay so here you can see that at this time it is doing it you know fine it's okay but most of the time it might not work so what else you can do over here is that if it doesn't work the way you want, you can simply just go over here and 
extrude in, instead of extrude what you can do is that you can simply go in the insert okay and edge loop you can choose that okay and what you can do here is that you can just click on the perpendicular edge okay so it will make an edge like this or just like this like this and like this now once you are done with this part and what you can do is that you can take these edges okay and you can move them very quickly like you know with the help of your uh move tool okay you can take these and move them as you want here okay so what you need to do is that simply go over here oops let me go in the drawing mode okay and then i can simply uh, go back to my uh, edges uncheck the sorry my uh, poly loop uh, the, the poly face and then i will change it to move okay that's all and after that what i can do is that i can just press alt and create this oops this poly group over here so what this will do is that if i will go to my move tool so this will actually move this part outward okay or simply if i will click here okay uh, control and click here to mask it out and then you can move it and once you are done then you can see that you are you have this reshape option over here so this is one way around if you want to create something just like this so but usually it does not allow you to create uh, as these kind of uh, like forms over here okay uh, because it avoids those triangular model here you can see this is not a perfect triangle here because it's one two three four sides here okay so but this is how you can uh you know go all the way around and make these kind of objects over here if you want to move around instead of extruding okay so so far in this chapter we have seen the highlights of the z wonder brush of course there are a lot more that you can do but it would take forever to go over all of the different combinations of options that you could do. But basically, the operation that I have shown you so far, for the most part, I apply to all the different models and settings. So once you have learned this, you have uh, what you need to know to go and practice the rest of it on your own. So uh, once you are done with this chapter, you will be, you know, you will know quite of good options over here to work on with the C modeler. So, guys, uh, if you have liked this video, please click on the like button. And I really, I will appreciate if you can share it with your friends. And uh, also, if you have social media account, I will highly appreciate if you can sh give me a shout out. And click on the bell icon so that you can get the notification. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till the next uh lesson we will uh, now we will uh, hopefully move to new chapter over here which is about the subdivision okay so uh, next uh, from the next lesson we will move to chapter uh, the new one which is chapter 8 about the subdivision so take care everyone and we'll meet in the next chapter about the subdivision